to a new installment of SQL Walkthrough, Code Academy SQL Table Transformation class. This is the more intermediate class of CodeAcademy.com. I highly recommend you use Code Academy to learn to code, learn to become a data scientist, and sign up for the pro course. The instruction says, while working with databases, we often need to transform data from one format to achieve a desired result. In SQL, this is often called data transformation or table transformation. What it's trying to say is that it wants you to use SQL um, to query only a part of the table rather than all of the table. As we know, um, to see all of the table, use capitalized command here. Um, it's CodeCami likes it better. It's a convention from flights. The table is not capitalized. And if you just say run right now, you're not going to get any results back. But you will get the data schema, so how the, how the database is constructed. And it will give you an error, incomplete SQL. Um, and then we also show you the flights table and the airport table. So the flights table should have 499 rows. If we were have done this command correctly, it will give you 499 rows. What CodeCami did here is you require you to have good grammar. So you have to include a semicolon to mark the end of your statement. If you don't, even if you have the right command, you will get the incomplete SQL error. So keep in mind, if you see that on CodeCamme, that's what it means. In the real life, developers also see error messages that seems confusing at first, and then will Google and read about the, the error message on Stack Overflow. Given time, search result, and experience, you will be able to recognize these error messages in no time. And then it says, we'll begin to learn about table transformations through subqueries. Subqueries, sometimes referred to as inner queries or nested queries, are used to transform table data by nesting one query within another query. Well, right now it would not make too much sense, but you will see examples probably in future episodes as we go through more sections. In this lesson, we will look at aviation data and transform it with SQL using subqueries. If you're new to SQL, we recommend you do this course first. And they're referring to their brand new beginner course in Learn SQL. We'll cover this in another walkthrough. We'll be working with the airport database. Let's begin by looking at the data tables. Select 10 rows from the flights table. So in this case, we select all the rows. How do we select 10 rows? So if you were to go onto Google, which is what developers do, you can say, how do I select only 10 rows in SQL? Stack Overflows is an excellent source. It says select top 10 or order by something limit. Turns out in this case, limit is a great way to limit only 10 rows. So you want to capitalize for good practice, 10. Remember, if we do not include the semicolon here, you will not see any results and will get the incomplete SQL error. So go ahead and add that for good grammar, good practice. Now you only get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10 rows from the flights table. There we go. That concludes the first section of our walkthrough. Please subscribe to this playlist to read about more Code Academy walkthroughs. We're very beginner friendly. We try to explain from ground zero.